Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we will show you how to install a pair of SATA hard drives in the OWC Mercury Elite AL Pro Dual Bay RAID enclosure. Please note, these instructions are only for the SATA version of this enclosure series. However, they are accurate for both the triple and quad interface bridge configurations. We have gathered our materials and are working on a static free surface. We are now ready to begin. We've already removed both the drives and the enclosure from their packaging. In order to open the enclosure, we will first need to remove these four Phillips screws. Remove the outer shell by pushing the inner chassis on the end with connectors to loosen it. Then, slide the outer shell towards the rear of the unit. Inside the unit, you will find a packet of silica gel. This can be thrown out. There will also be two bags of screws which can be set aside for the moment. We will need to install the bottom drive first. Set the drive into the enclosure so that the connectors on the drive and on the enclosure's bridgeboard line up. Once the drive is set, slide it toward the rear to connect it. Then, set the chassis on its side so you can line up the screw holes. Each bag contains four mounting screws, giving you a total of eight. These are all the same size, so you don't need to worry about mixing them up. Use four of these screws to secure the bottom drive into place. The second drive gets attached to the two cabled connectors. Due to the shape and positioning of the power cable, it is actually easier to flip the drive over before attaching it. Once it's attached, you can flip the drive back over, attach the data cable, and set the drive into place. Once again, set the chassis on its side, this time securing the top drive into place with the four remaining screws from the bags. We are now ready to seal up the enclosure. Locate the four screw holes on the chassis. Then, position it so that they line up with the holes on the outer shell. Slide the chassis back into the outer shell the same way it came out. Make sure that the bottom holes are aligned correctly then reattach the screws that you removed earlier. The drive is now installed. You may now hook up your power adapter and a data cable of your choice. 